Yo, yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? I'm back again with another video. Guys, what's up? Uh, this time, we're going to be working with the crew cutter. Why I need crew cutter? I need crew cutter when you're talking cleaning his door panels. Why? I need something that's very strong, very effective, cuts grease, grime, oil, tar, wax, fast. I need this. Why? Because the only way I can really protect these door panels now is if I get everything off them, see, before I use my protector that I'm going to use. It's very important. You must remove all the dirt, grime, whatever's there in order for me to protect them at least because the sun it took, it took a lot of damage, as I show you guys in the first video. Okay. So now let's use the crew cutter for the interior door panel cleaning. Okay, here we go. You can see it pulling the dirt and the grind off. I need this. You need crew cutter because crew cutter is strong. Watch this. Look at that. That you need something strong like crew cutters because if you don't remove all the dirt off the panel properly, then you can't protect it. You protect the dirt, then then it's just gonna keep on eating up the door panel. You know, that's my take on it. Okay, even the cloth part can be protected, fiber protected, and stuff like that. Okay, as you can see, yeah, it looks pretty clean. That's before I can do anything with it. Okay, yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? That door panel was very filthy and dirty. cold out here guys I'm still out here trying to do some little detailing it's probably like ooh, it's probably like 20s 20, 20 probably about 22 degrees out here I'd say at least 22 22 degrees door panel detailing see all right, so now, as you can see, like I showed in the first video, this stuff is cracked up. Only way I probably can't say this, really. See, it's cracked all up. I don't know really what to do for that. I thought I could say you could put some tape or something there, like some black duct tape or something, and put it up there as neat as possible. Some black or brown, some brown duct tape across there or something like that. You don't want to put a whole lot in it. <laughs> okay, so now I would say you can protect it at best. Now, what I'm using to protect it with is the Meguiar's Ultimate Protector. Right here is what I'm going to use to protect it with. Just going to spritz it right, right out, like that. Comes out rather too thick, as you can see. I don't know how many people work with this McGuire's, but as you can see, it comes out kind of thick like. We ain't gonna fix that today, so I'm just gonna protect it. So it won't get further, no worse, but I will come up with something to repair that in the future. Okay. Y'all can just about count on that now. I'll come up with something to repair that. In the future, okay. Here we go. Let's spread it. All right. And see, this will really get that UV protection. That that's why I told you guys in the previous video. 
That's what happens when your door protect your door panels and dashboards. All the same. Yeah, if a car is just sitting around, you still got to keep it up. You still got to keep that car up. Even you drive it because you know why you got to keep it up. Because one day you might have to fall back on this vehicle. No vehicle is too bad where you can't fall back on it. See, Honda's pretty decent looking in the interior. So what's here? These Hondas are made pretty tough anyway. You know, it's a pretty tough car. So, um, you're going to want to keep it up some. The same thing for your dash. Because the dash got the protection there. See? It's got UV protection there and there. They do the same thing all the way around the whole car. It's important if you're going to keep the car. Whether you're driving the car at the moment or what, you're going to want to um, protect your door panels and your dash. See how good that look? I put some nourishment there. Now, you can fix that with some silicone, like uh, some RTV glue, like some brown stuff. Clean it back off real good. You might put some RTV there in them cracks or something. Might, it might work like some brown gasket glue or something like that. Kind of blend it in there. I got ways of trying to fix that. I'll show you guys what happens to a vehicle when you don't. You let it go to elect it like that. See? That's what happened. That's what you don't want to do. See? If you're going to keep a vehicle, you still want to at least try to keep it up, son. It's about to take, you're going to want to do the dash and all that stuff like this, guys. If you're going to keep one, a vehicle, try to keep it up soon. That's my best advice to you guys out there. Look at here. Just this little simple wipe down tactic right here. Do you know how long this stuff probably lasts on a Honda Dash? Just a little wipe down tactic. This stuff probably lasts a very long time on the dash. Because a lot of people got cars sitting in their yard. They claim they want them, right? But they don't want to keep them up. See? This hard they only got a hundred. I think it was a hundred and thirty thousand miles. hundred and thirty-eight thousand on it. This Honda really ain't high miles like you think. It's a must do though if you plan on keeping them guys. You gonna want to try to halfway keep up your dash and stuff. For sure. Cause they'll dry right on you. They crack. You can see how much better that dash look. These cars are 89. These cars are 30 years old. Still good cars, though. Hard to beat. It's hard to beat a Honda anyway. See that? That little protection right there will go a long ways. I tell you. That's why it's important to do so. <laughs> okay. I just want to share that with you guys. Um, even if a car set up, you need to put some car protection on it. It's important, I think. Just hit it with the best protection as possible. And then McGuire's protection is really good stuff right here. Highly recommend, guys, this product.
It's got interior right up there. And uh, I recommend it. McGuire's Ultimate Protector. And what I like to do, let it sit up there. You know, like y'all see me doing here. Do Go around and do all the door panels the same. See, like I done this, see? It's got a good little smell to it too, guys. Yeah, give it a nice white. It's very important, guys, if you plan on keeping a ride. See here? go to the other side and get that but believe it or not that dash looks really good look at here everything looks pretty good see here that door panel still looks good Just want to share with you guys some of the products that you can use, man. And really, and why you should um, make sure you protect your door panels and stuff. It's a must-have, yeah. It's me, guys. And a must, something you must do. Do it, go crack up on you, and you ain't gonna have to worry about it. <laughs> All right, so guys. I hope you enjoyed, man. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment. Rate and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. Got to get out of this 22 degree weather. Got to get in here to move on to some more interior detailing. You guys take care. I hit y'all on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.